Video shows an incredible transformation. Beleaguered San Francisco is suddenly spotless. The junkies are gone. The homeless camps have disappeared. Crime, evidently, is no longer a problem. And no, Batman didn't show up. But President Biden will later this week for the APEC summit that includes the president of China. The Secret Service put its big fences in to keep people out. Thus, San Francisco is now almost livable again. But the governor says it won't last long. I know folks say, oh, they're just cleaning up this place because all those fancy leaders are coming into town. Um, that's true, because it's true. But it's also true, for months and months and months prior to APEC, we've been having different conversations. I've listened to politicians talk for a long time. I do it for a living. I have no idea what, quote, different conversations mean. It's for a different night. But the policies of San Francisco come as close to the liberal utopia as you get in America. Shoplifting is legal, and it got so bad, stores closed. Even Whole Foods left San Francisco. But when you ask the White House about what's happened here, both what was happening in San Francisco and what happened for the president's visit, they see little irony in the situation. San Francisco has cleaned up their streets ahead of President Biden and President Xi's meeting. They've moved homeless to other parts of the city, cleared tent cities and trash off the street. Is the president embarrassed that an American city needs to go through a total makeover to be presentable for his out-of-town guests? The president is incredibly proud. Okay. And to be fair, the new San Francisco is something to be proud of, at least for now. Chairman of San Francisco's Republican Party, John Dennis, is with us now. John, every time we talk, I make the joke that chairman of the Republican Party is a lonely job, but I hear voter registration for Republicans are up. So uh, there you go. You have more friends now. Uh, are you surprised at sort of how easy it was to clean up the city? No, because for years, all of us, many of us, were saying that it wasn't going to be that difficult to do if we just recognized what the problem was and then took away the incentives to attract people to San Francisco. As you know, there's an entire industry, a homeless industrial complex, if you will, who uh, you know get a lot of money from the city and from uh, from donors to to perpetuate this problem. And if if the city were actually to act and enforce the law and uh, and stop the disincentives for people to come, then that would dry up. And so I fully expect that while uh, President Xi is in town, that we're going to have put on our our, our best face uh, as soon as he leaves. The, uh, the 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 homeless industrial complex train is going to roll right back in. Yeah, I've got to give credit to whoever in the control room wrote clean for G and not for thee. Uh, that's pretty clever. <laughs> um, they're, 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 hey, look, I, I cannot take credit. Um, but what I think is interesting, and I think we got to be fair about this, right? How much of this is purely cosmetic, being, meaning outside the secure area? Because it would, it would make sense. The Secret Service would say, hey, we don't want homeless people inside the secure area. We've got to have defensible space around where the president is. Was this cleaning out just a small pocket, or is this cleaning out the whole town because of the, the journalists and the dignitaries and the business people and everybody else coming in? Oh, well, certainly not the whole town. You know, uh, my neighbor, and when I mean my neighbor, I mean the guy whose garage space is right next to mine, was graffiti tagged today. And I'm, I'm in Pacific Heights in San Francisco. So it certainly isn't the whole town that's, uh, being, uh, that, that's being cleaned up. By the way, I did want to make one point. Interestingly, Joe Biden has been in San Francisco a number of times recently, and certainly, sir, uh, during his, uh, uh, his tenure as president. And the city was not cleaned up just for him, but it's only when President Xi comes into town that uh, that the city gets cleaned up. Mm. And I think one of the things that we're facing here, Leland, let's say that there was a sustained effort starting from this day um, that San Francisco was going to be cleaned up. We we're going to stop the incentives to attract the drug addicted to come to San Francisco. I suspect it would take the better part of a decade for us to restore our <laughs> reputation internationally. So, um, so this might, I think, is I think it's a it's a one off. I think we're going to go right down the same path again, mm. and uh, and. And we're probably not going to recover for some time. Yeah, it almost reminds me of the old Soviet times when the, you know somebody would come to town and they'd stack all the potatoes really high or something like that to, to show the dear leader that things things were okay. You and made what, a good point about. I, want, I just was going to say go, this. Go ahead. You know, 
when, when Republicans ran this city, which was some time ago, granted, the city didn't have these kind these kinds of problems. Had nothing. In fact, the things that you think about San Francisco, Golden Gate Bridge, the Bay Bridge, uh, trolley cars, all the great things about San Francisco, were all built when Republicans ran the city. Hmm. And what's interesting is I don't think anybody would deny that these problems would not exist if uh, Republicans uh, were in San Francisco right now. Oh, let me get, I, I got 10 seconds. I'm going to give you the last word. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure I could go as far as to agree with you. It's a partisan issue uh, because, look, Chicago was run by Democrats for a long time, and up, up until recently, it was a really phenomenal city. Real quick, um, are you hearing any desire, even among sort of the elite liberal class, now that San Francisco's clean, to keep it this way? Yeah, well, two things that liberals love is one being projecting and uh, having a projection of being better than you, and they love their money. And their money's being affected right now because business is down across the city. Real estate prices are down across the city. So there is a, a movement amongst moderate Republicans mm. to take the Republican line, which is to reestablish law and order and a clean, safe city to, where you can do business. I, I would say that was a little more than 10 seconds, but it was a, it was a thorough answer. Thank you, sir. We'll have you back. Uh, thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.